Operations at Nairobi's Wilson Airport have resumed with the first flight leaving for Diani this afternoon following the resumption of domestic flights on Wednesday. It is yet another signal of efforts to resuscitate the business environment following the four months of long and partial lockdowns. Nayoma Sampao gives us the details of today's activity at Wilson Airport. The resumption of local passenger flights is expected to open the valves of receipt of revenue for the aviation industry as well as help kickstart the economy after four months of partial lockdown. The aviation industry is one of the most adversely hit since the restriction of movement was announced by President Uhuru Kenyatta. By the time the profitability in the sector comes back to norm, will take three to five years minimum. The industry, however, resumes with a different working environment than it was operating on earlier. On arrival, the passengers are expected to go through a sanitizing booth, after which their temperature is taken and then they can proceed to the waiting lounge before they can board. Travelers have been encouraged to check in online in order to reduce the time that they stay in the airport and, in essence, reduce the chances of being exposed to the virus. With all the measures having been achieved, they are ready to get back to business. We have done enough by way of putting in place uh, the safety measures, not just at Wilson Airport, at JKIA, at Mombasa, Malindi, Kisumu, and at all our other uh, airports. We are trying all the time through the different protocols to guarantee your safe passage. The industry players say that it will require several other players to chip in in order to revive the industry. They will require unprecedented support by government and other agencies to really get the industry back, which is an important player uh, in the economy. The aviation sector, the hospitality sector, is being given significant state and federal support in different countries. And that is one thing we have been pushing for also in Kenya. Sector stakeholders are now seeking indulgence from the travelers and every traveler is required to take personal responsibility to complement their effort of locking away the virus. This comes even as their attention now shifts to preparations for resumption of international flights 1st of August. Nayoma Sampao, NTV.